Chicory, A Colorful Tale. This was an interesting game. It's a mix of painting and puzzle solving. The story takes place over 10 chapters, and it really doesn't outstay its welcome. My biggest issue with it, though, is that it really isn't suited to playing it on a console. It feels like it would have been way more fun with a mouse. But I guess you could use the touchscreen, so that's something, but most people are going to use controls. This is the story of Insert Your Name Here. I went with pizza since it asked me my favorite food with no context. You're a janitor for this building, which holds the current wielder of the brush. This brush has the ability to paint anything it sees in the limited colors it has for the area. You can eventually unlock any color, but that's much later in the game. You find the brush just sitting there and decide to steal it, uh, or I should say borrow it, or however the main character decide to justify it. The first part of the game is your character learning how to use the brush to paint the world. The true brush holder, Chicory, eventually finds out about you borrowing the brush, and instead of being upset, they just don't care and pass the power of the brush off to you. After that, the story is about why Chicory is so depressed and willing to give up the power. And finally, you learning to master your brush powers. Those powers will increase throughout the chapters. You're gonna learn how to swim and paint, for an example. Huh, I wonder where they got that idea from. And you'll gain the ability to jump. Not just jump, but flip jumping. Because if you're gonna jump, you might as well do it with some flair. You can change the size of the brush in order to help you get better control of the way you color in the world. But playing with the controller, it was always more clunky than you might think. This was clearly made for mouse controls and the precision that it has. So if you really want to do in-depth painting, I would say buy this on the PC. You can use the touch screen to make it easier, but there are a couple issues with that. One, your finger will cover what you're trying to color, so it's a little awkward. The second issue is that there's a delay if you drag the cursor. It's not that bad, but it is noticeable. I never cared about painting so I just did as little as possible. You're going to need to use your painting abilities in order to solve simple puzzles. I doubt you're going to get stuck too long. And even if you do, the game has a very cute help system where you can call your mom or your dad. Your mom will give you overall advice, but your dad will give you much more detailed advice. And I'm talking about him telling you to go like two screens up and then one screen left. That kind of really detailed advice. So you won't really get stuck. Now I ran into quite a few bugs in this game. Sometimes my character would just slide down for no reason. There was even a time where I accidentally jumped into the background and it let me bypass an entire set of puzzles since I could just walk in the background from room to room and they were all connected. I wish I had that recorded. As an example, if you've ever seen the speed run of Link to the Past where you could beat the game in around four minutes, it's like that. Chicory, A Colorful Tale was fun. It had simple puzzles and an interesting story. After you beat the game, they show you the journey that you took and all the ways you colored the places that you went to. If you're a fan of coloring books, this will appeal to you. Now this is normally $19.99 and I would say wait for it to go on sale. Like I mentioned, this game really isn't made for the console and I really can't see someone going crazy on the coloring mechanics with these controls. However, it is enjoyable to play, so I do think it's worth it when it's on sale.